I'm Jordan Winter with Lawrence Times TV. Today, I'll take you through the places you'll want to know and go for Final Friday. We're sitting here with Rick Wright, one of the directors at Van Gogh here in Lawrence. Now, you're a solo artist yourself, and you're going to be featuring some of your work at this Final Friday at the Cider Gallery, sharing the floor with Hang 12 and their Beyond the Fridge exhibit, which is going to feature the evolution of artists through their careers. I'd like to hear a little more about yours. I was probably that kid in junior high or high school that always loved art and took every art class they could. I wanted to develop a career for myself that uh, heavily involved the arts, but I also have had this passion about working with young people throughout the years, so that's led to kind of a, an art education career and then my own work as a solo artist. I can tell you're very involved in the field. Now when it comes to that, what does the inner workings of the Lawrence art scene look like? I think we have a lot of opportunities here for, for artists to be involved. Uh, working with smaller organizations such as Van Gogh, where I work, um, we often uh, work with um, and collaborate with other teaching artists in our programs, uh, and sometimes those opportunities lead to other collaborations. Um, myself, um, I'm friends with Alicia Kelly, who's a local artist herself and um, has taught here at Van Gogh, so um, she invited me to be a part of a group show recently at the Cider Gallery. Uh, that in turn led to an opportunity that I had for a solo show there this month, which I'm really excited about. And uh, coincidentally, Alicia is involved with the Hang 12 program, and they are also showing at the same space at the same time. So uh, there's a lot of synergies that happen with, I think, with local artists. And I, I think with those group efforts, um, you know, there's, there's a power and excitement and uh, leads to a lot of uh, great collaborative efforts there. We are here with local artist Alicia Kelly, but you're not just an artist. You recently stepped into the role of being a curator for Seed Coast Studios and being a mentor for the Hang 12 Youth Art Collective. What's your day-to-day -day look like? So I have organized my life to have primary teaching days and then primary studio days. And even within those, I'm playing different roles. I'm doing something for Hang 12 at the Arts Center or burning screens for Van Gogh for the students there or coming here and helping organize a show. What's the importance of cultivating this next generation of talent for the arts? I think with Hang 12 specifically, or any, any of the youth, depending on the program I'm teaching, I wanna show them all the things I didn't learn in art school or all the things I didn't learn till I was 25 or 30. And so the things they're doing, I hope that if they study art or are just supporting artists or have an artist in their family, that they have more knowledge about it. Tell me more about the work that you guys do at Hang 12. We do a lot of different things based in the community around art. We do pop-ups with our merch, we do a bunch of shows, and we just do a lot of different creative events. So you all are hanging the Beyond the Fridge exhibit. Can you tell me more about what that concept is and how you all came up with it? Yeah, so it's a lot of just brainstorming in a boardroom where we're just like throwing ideas at each other. And it's basically displaying the evolution of an artist, so showing work from when they were a child or starting art school or starting their careers based on now when they're like showing the evolution of their work. How do you actually recruit people to come and join Hang 12? Um, well, I think our biggest like reach for our teen audience is just putting on really fun shows and art events. Um, and our social media sort of like gets people's attention for that and they all sort of show up and they see the cool work that we get to do and they become involved with it that, that way. That's great. And so with your expertise in graphic design, it sounds like you all create a lot of merch and that's one of the ways that you all fund your projects. Is that right? Yeah. So each year at the beginning of the year, we sort of hold like a, a day where we just do random sketches and stuff and then we vote on them and we choose two designs normally, maybe three to print on shirts and we sell those shirts everywhere whenever we can. Um, and that sort of, you know, gets our name out there, funds our projects, that sort of stuff. What kind of impact would you say Hang 12 has on the Lawrence community? What does it bring to the table? It brings just like youth voice and youth art and youth creative energy, um, which I don't think we have that much of in Lawrence. And yeah, just like fresh Gen Z ideas, you know. What benefits does having that youth perspective bring to the art world in particular? 
it just brings new ideas because like having the pandemic be a big part of our lives has shifted our views and just how the overall world is is like the way we can reflect that in art or in exhibitions is just so different than like all the other generations I feel like and I think uh, we don't have to wait until we're like 30 or something to start like being a part of communities um, we think we can start now so yeah and art can only be better if we bring in new and interesting perspectives right for sure I'm Jordan Winter and you've been watching Lawrence Times TV and my wish is that I'll see you out for Final Friday. This video is sponsored by Razzle Dazzle Photo Co. Your escape from the main event, the Razzle Dazzle Photo Bus captures memories that will last a lifetime. And Vibralux Media, helping your business to create inspired brand strategies.